Mor morphine mushroom, <laughs> really? <laughs> now I know we're getting high. <sighs> so what's the mushroom gonna do? It's just going to attack me. I know it has some kind of spell that it can use, but we're probably not going to find out what that is. This is what happens when we decide to go back to the hill at night. I find more things. I find weird things. Oh my god, did that say Metal Slime? Uh, hey guys, I found a new location for Metal Slimes! I am totally not prepared for this in the least. Shit. They're both probably gonna bail on me too. I don't have any good idea. Do I even have... Oh, I don't even have Holy Waters equipped. That's great. Okay, uh, think. What do I do when I find them and I'm not expecting them? Abilities, Dragon Slash, I think I do shit on them. Spells. Thing. All I can do is attack it normally. Slices all enemies, how much does it do? Powerful and focused and damaging bare fist strike. I'm probably better off using thin air. Abilities! Uh, let's try Twin Dragon Lash on the Metal Slimes. Angelo, do you have anything that's going to be useful to me? Boost, spice, enemies, abilities, same in zero. Enemy to sleep. Ooh, idea. I hit it for one. That's good. That's a start. Same in zero. Please knock it out. It didn't, but it did some damage. Okay, all that's left is that. Does no damage. I am screwed. Attack, attack. I, all I can really do is just abilities. Because this will probably at least do something to it. Oh my god, it's staying to fight. We got a ballsy one here. Oh yeah, totally worth it. Yes! Oh, that's so good. I did not know you could find metal slimes here. Five skill points. Uh, let's get stabs up. MP increased by 20 when she's using a staff. Angela increased to 15. What was his level previously at? But well, whatever it was, I'm glad that he learned mid-heal, and we'll be increasing your bow ability, because that helped out some. I will gladly take that. You've got to be kidding me. Nighttime! Along here's the perfect time to find metal slimes, apparently. Oh god, okay. I don't know what my odds are of killing any of these guys, so I have anything that will just hit them all. Sizz will, but I don't think that actually does anything to them. Why don't I have... I have an idea. Do I still... Why don't I have a lance on him anywhere? Ah, uh, great. I might have to re-equip him so I at least have his lance in his inventory so I can switch to it on a moment's notice. His normal attack did something to it. Thin Air did nothing, so let's try Knuckle Sandwich instead. Twin Dragon Lash and Ability, Salmon Zero. Please. Good. A state to fight. 
B? We don't know what B's doing yet. B ran away like a little bitch. Put it to sleep! Knock it out! I don't know... I really don't know how else the aspects work on these guys. Great. This one will probably get away. Now go for broke. Good. Shit. Please kill it. So good. Oh man. <laughs> See, just killing one of them is worth it. I was not expecting to start this off by slaying two metal slimes, especially after my failure to kill them in the abbey. Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, since I'm going all fisticuffs, I might as well increase this. Nighttime along the riverbank. I'll have to remember that. If I ever do this again, I mean. <laughs> oh my god! I'm keeping every damn fight in just about because I keep finding these little bastards. Alright. I might as well do thin air to at least take out the Calamari kids quickly. Jessica, Twin Dragon Lash. I'm gonna keep trying to put one of these to sleep just to see if it, I can. Oh, nice. Oh, this one's really ballsy. Let's see here. Can I knock one out? That's bad. Why can't I do some damage to those guys? Come on. I'm surprised I got an attack in. And of course the one I've done more damage to ran away. This is gonna be a waste. He's not gonna stay another round. Oh my god, he did! Oh! Weren't we fast today? Oh, come on! The game is screwing with me, guys. This is one really weird metal slime. The game just handed me experience. I'll gladly take it. That guy should have booked it after turn three. Mid heal. That's nice. Uh, let's put some into spears. Thunder Thrust. That is a really good attack, I think. Also, um... Let's go ahead and put that spear back into my bag. Where do I have it at? I sold the spear, didn't I? Why did I sell my spear? Probably because I said, oh, well, it's just a low-level lance. I don't need this for anything. I'm stupid. Crap. Fine. Whatever. I'll just level up the sword abilities next. Or courage, I haven't decided. Also, hey, we're back to where I need to be. I'll have to get that chest at some point. Okay, good. Back up on the hillside where I was horribly confused about what to do next. I got some medical herbs free. So I think I had to go along the back side here and then I bailed out because I was like, hey guys, I'm almost dead and I need to stop recording. I totally don't know what's along the back here. Alright, now can I please figure out what I'm supposed to do here? That'd be wonderful. This just takes me right back to where I was, doesn't it? 
This takes me to a different set of ruins. I went up there. There's like multiple doors that I can go through, isn't there? And <laughs> I get a level up out of that. Great. Just keep dumping them in bows. I don't remember what else I said I was gonna have him use. I think stabs. Yeah, it was definitely stabs. Alright, let's get some healing going on here. Also, Angela has healing, doesn't he? Magic. Yeah. He learned mid heal before I did. Naturally, at that. Alright, now that I'm not so dead, let's see if I can figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be at. This place is confusing. Oh yeah, come on, wing. But I totally don't need. Well, I can make another feathered hat if I want to. They're probably good for something else, I just don't recall what. Why don't I remember this area up here? I'm stupid. Also, these are totally new enemies. I don't know what they do. They probably can poison me, though. So let's kill them before they can. Because that sounds like a great plan. Kill them before I find out what they can do. I like that plan. That plan worked, too. So they could potentially be a threat, but we'll never know. Until I don't have such a good run next time. Alright, if I go through here, where's this going to dump me at? Is this just like the stairs I went through originally? Ooh, no, this is a thing here. That's glowing, kind of. Is this a healing area? Please tell me it's a healing area. It's not a healing area, it's a well. You know, I'm used to going down wells first, not up them. Whatever, not gonna argue with it because it advances me further along the cell. This is a really big hill. For being totally unprepared for how long this area was going to be, I'm not doing half bad. It's only helped that, you know, I killed, what, three metal slimes on the way here? Taking that break was like the best thing I could have done. There's probably things down there, but I want to get to the hill. I want to advance the plot. Yep, this would be it. So, um, <laughs> now we wait, because if you remember right, it said to, um, how do I view this guy? To wait up here on the night of a full moon. Well, the moon's full. Now check it out. You notice it yet? If you haven't noticed something's going on by now, you're not very observant. Even I know what's going on. Unfortunately, we have to wait until this thing hits that wall. So we're just... Actually, I'm not sure if I can even get into fights on this hill. <laughs> So I guess now is as good of a time as any while we wait to just kind of talk about stuff, or I may just cut this here, and... Nope! It's... it's cool. That happened a lot faster than I was expecting. You have to cut some speed in the process up. Crazy story isn't so crazy after all.
Uh, guys, I don't think we're in the normal world anymore. Door there, but just in case, because this, uh, as far as I know, is a peaceful area, is there a treasure chest? Nope. Of course not. That'd be convenient. I think that's a guy. It's really hard to tell with some of these JRPGs. The voice was way too deep. Of course, there's nothing down there. Can I examine that globe? I know I should be progressing the plot, but I want to look at this thing. Look at that. It looks like one of the saves here is from Final Fantasy X, doesn't it? Alright. Let's see where this goes. Many moons have waxed and waned since human foot last trod this earth. I'm sorry, now I have wax on, wax off in my head. I welcome you now to the land of the moon shadow. Enlighten me. What desire opened the moon shadow window on this night? No words. Your shoes can tell the tale. My shoes can talk. Boy, are you gonna get a hell of a story. So, Pavan longs to be reunited with his dearly beloved Sasha. You stand amazed, mouths agape in wonderment. Ah, forgive me. I have yet to uncloud your eyes. Children of the light of day, do you believe that memories are yours alone? Okay, you really should not be peeking into my mind. Your clothes, houses, tables, and chairs, the sky, the land, they too remember each passing day. Silently, they sleep in a dream world of memories. The moon's light may give shape to these dreams, these memories. Hey, Boots, don't tell them about that one time in the king's chamber. I cannot stir this daughter of the sun from her eternal sleep. But perhaps I can end your friend's waking nightmare. Lead me to the castle. Lead me to the scene of Pavan's misery. Alright, so we got a temporary guest party member whose name I can totally not pronounce. Alright, so we're going to get out of here, and we're going to just teleport my happy little ass to the castle. I also do not recall if it's going to be nighttime until we complete this or not, because sometimes games like to do that. Yes, return to the normal world. I like how it's just the world. We don't have a name for this place. Oh damn, push me right in the castle, nice. That's super convenient. I'm pretty sure if I just follow the carpet, it takes me to um, the audience chamber. 
It's been a while since I've been in here. I've not recorded in like a couple weeks. You can tell. Again, I bulk record stuff. With my work schedule, it's like the only way to do it. soul. May the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. Seriously, look at those hair rolls. <laughs> what is this? A dream? An illusion? No. No. I remember this. You. Is wrong. <laughs> what is wrong? Sasha, I've missed you so. These two years, I've thought of nothing but you. Ever since you passed away, we kind of noticed. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh, yes! I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Is that... me? Yes. I remember this. It was the spring before last. So, this is a memory from the past? <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush now, Pavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear king, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I decided. Yes, she was always like that, always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha, why? <laughs> okay, plan's not working anymore. Uh, you want to change up your magic tricks there, pal? Sasha, why are you always so strong? Because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child. So weak and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely. But then I realized... 
If I went back to my old, weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. I remember, everything you ever told me lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. At last, I finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. And we've restored a country. Not bad work. I really like this section of the game. It's a good little lesson, really. Never again will I forget the things Sasha told me. Well, Yang is certainly sticking in. I wonder how drunk Angela is going to be by the end of this. It felt like a dream, but I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now, I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Well, we are kind of looking for this gesture. I swear, I will do anything in my power to repay you. Anything at all I can do to help. Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope... We will meet again soon. Alright, so now it just kind of lets me walk around. Let's bug my party members. You know, I always get to bug them during times like this. 
that itchy Marley bloke disappear too. So he can't pronounce the guy's name either. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> the old moonshine. He is totally drunk. Alright, let's see what the king tells us. I doubt you've heard of much of anything going on in your kingdom for the past two years. Well, I guess we're done here. Don't worry, though. He totally owes us. Did not mean to talk to Angelo again. I'll probably end up running into um, M on the way out or something. I find it hard to believe that I won't bump into someone on my way out. At least the kingdom is back up and running. I have no idea what to do now, though. Also, I killed quite a few things. Can I buy new weapons? That's why I currently have on him. So, nothing really is going to help me. So, it must have been armor that I needed. This has been quite a long and a uh, plot-filled episode. Let's see here. Am I seriously up to date on everything? Slime earrings. I don't know what these do, but they're accessories that will boost my defense, at least, on two characters. Let's go and buy two. Um, that should be all for now. I don't know if, um, the item person has anything that I want. Before I forget, because I know I totally will. Angus, you got an extra pair. Let's transfer those to Jessica and put them on her. I don't know why it always puts no by default. Alright, what are you selling? What are you selling? What are you buying? Things will pop into my head. Burnet powder. I think that's used to make. I think I mixed that with the mold. I have got no holy waters. Well, I don't really need them as we found out from my slime mine adventure. Jeez. I don't know what to do next now. I'll be honest. So, um. Let's go ahead and cut the part here, guys, because this has been a hell of... A... Let's talk to them, see if they say anything. Oh, great. Hey! God, he is horrible. <sighs> Angelo. And I pressed the wrong button again. You can tell it's been a while since I've played. I haven't made that mistake in a while. Alright, guys. 
if you enjoyed this part, if you enjoyed seeing us basically restore a kingdom and help a king get over his grievances. And if you're looking forward to where we go next, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. I'd very much appreciate that. And I will see you in the next part.